almost Christmas it's Friday today it's been really busy so it's been difficult to uh, film anything so I thought I apply some makeup while I'm chatting to you um, also this is my own hair and I think this is first time in months that I actually properly blow dried it um, and my hair feels so healthy as you know for ages now I haven't been really blow drying styling my hair I would just roughly dry it and put you know my little hair clip in so um, yes I wanted to put some makeup on we are going to a wedding tomorrow can you believe it on Saturday so day before Christmas Eve um, and it's been quite difficult to choose what to wear because it's a winter wedding anyway let me start doing my makeup I'm going to use I've just bought this and I really like it it's a Milani palette it's called uh, Plum Basics and it is number four really really pretty plummy purple colors here on the back also it shows you um, how to apply all these colors so it's very helpful if you're not very good with knowing where to put what um, but I've used it for the first time yesterday and I really liked it so let me do that while I'm talking to you I'm going to put that light one all over my lid first yes yeah, so we are going to a wedding it is a bit of a distance from us so we are staying there staying at the hotel so the wedding is um, the ceremony and the reception all in one place uh, it is Paul, Paul's cousin that is getting married so yes I didn't know what to wear and this time of year everything is black as you know because it's like the party season okay on my mac 217 i'm going to use this one in my crease um yeah so i thought i have some dresses when i used to go to like um christmas balls and christmas parties but most of them are black i think i've got one that is navy um but it's a bit revealing you know um that i i don't know i feel like it's more appropriate for for a party than a wedding ceremony so i was looking to get something and i found one in um kaleidoscope.co.uk in fact they have a lot of like occasion dresses but i find it quite difficult when you order it from somewhere like that um, because I've ordered about seven dresses you know to try which one I would like and most of them just didn't fit right um, I find it very difficult with dresses anyway because if they quite fit it up here because of my big boobs I have to buy a size bigger but that means that sometimes it's too big everywhere else and vice versa you know so um, I find it very difficult with dresses and as you know I hate dresses anyway so I'm thinking what well, about this dress I might show you if I don't show you I might show you tomorrow when I get dressed for the wedding um, okay um, now I'm going to put all over the lid this a uh, lovely sparkly pale pink a lovely color actually on my mobile lid right so the colors of this are really pretty but unfortunately you know the quality is you can't compare it to high end you know sometimes you can find really good um, 
drugstore eyeshadows they work well but i mean this pink looks beautiful and it looks beautiful when you swatch it but on my lid you can like see it's very crumbly and the sparkle sort of i don't know separates from the eyeshadow nevertheless once it's finished it's quite nice because the colors are really pretty and I did that on small flat brush this is brush without name so then I have this little brush that I don't know where it's from either and I'm going to use this sparkly one I'm using it how the back shows you I'm gonna use it here in my inner corner and again very pretty color but it's got some glitter in it and the glitter sort of separates from the rest of the eyeshadow so and this wasn't very cheap uh, Milani only became available lately in, in in UK and I think it is so cheap in the US I think this palette was 12 pounds which I don't think is cheap at all for drugstore drugstore makeup you know if i just double it i can get lovely high-end palette so i do honestly prefer to spend the money and this is all quite difficult to blend like the the crease color is a bit patchy now on blank canvas cosmetics e42 I'm going to use this purple so there is three mattes and three shimmers and I'm just going to start applying it on the outer corner it looks actually really pretty with this jumper this jumper is I don't know if it shows on the camera beautiful um, dark purple but like a bright purple if you know what i mean um with these bell sleeves this is from dorothy perkins i bought it a while ago but i looked um, on a website yesterday and they still have them and they are on sale now just 15 pounds i will leave you the link but i can guarantee that by the time this video comes out it will be still there but so I'm sort of going into my crease but just on the outer V and shading like one quarter of my lid. So it needs building up if you want it to be darker. So yeah, I, I did like the final result when I did the makeup with it but you know, to apply it got the fallout as well all that glitter but they, that can be useful at the holiday season glitter all over your face okay now this eyeshadow is matte it's like a aubergine color and they say in here to use it as a liner but you can use it as an eyeshadow obviously it is still powder so I'm going to take my MAC 25 three and just use it as a liner Zoe so Vat two to eight I'm just going to blend it up what's a bit and now the same um, the same matte aubergine color I'm going to use the Wayne Girls 05 brush and I'm gonna use this on my lower lash line oh lots of fallout so yes this palette is the colors are lovely I wouldn't say they are very good quality eyeshadows but you can 
get a good look but I wouldn't say that they are worth 12 pounds maybe I would pay five for it for the quality of it yeah not very easy to blend at all okay and I'm going to use the Kiko mascara okay so that's my eyes done still don't like my hair still the shape is not there so remember I told you she cut I mean when she cut it the sides were like straight here so they have grown a lot but you know it's getting there I'm just gonna keep growing it and then cut it into some sort of shape right now I'm just having it you know every time I have my highlights done I have it trimmed just to take off the ends okay so that's the look so as you can see I really like the colors and it's quite cool look as well they are really pretty but quite hard to work with I would say okay let me show you the dress so here it is so it is black I thought you know black to the wedding but because it has all this lovely silver embroidery on it it, it won't look like something you'd wear to funeral where's the front of it oh that's the front of it so I quite like it that it's got this mesh here at the front so it's still quite sexy but not revealing you know and um, it is quite fitted to the waist and then slightly a-line um, and it's just below the knee and the bottom's got like a scalloped finish to it so yeah it's very nice but I think I am going to change for the evening reception you know when there is dancing I might just wear trousers and a top because that's when I feel most comfortable okay my lovelies I better go we need to go out now and um, I'll probably see you tomorrow good morning everyone so we are on our way to the wedding um, it's a horrible day let me show you So I have changed my mind about my dress, um, I know it wasn't completely black but it was black and when I tried it on even Max said are you going to funeral or wedding so I am going to wear my dress that I wore to my friend's wedding anniversary in Venice I will show you when I'm ready and my hair I just have it in the ponytail because I'm going to put my clip in hair this is like the best thing for the wedding five minute hairstyle and I have a little fascinator as well but I, I don't know yet if I'm going to wear it me neither <laughs> Paul is not wearing a fascinator either. oh maybe you should wear my fascinator you've got no hair so <laughs> You can have my fascinator. Um, I did my makeup, so I don't have to do my makeup. The wedding is at three o'clock in the afternoon, so um, and I did it with my um, Ow Lorac unzipped. So yeah, I will show you the hotel. The hotel looks really it's like a manor, old manor. Um, I will show you uh, the place when we get okay so we've had a big to do can you see this big box in the back of the car so we have bought um, for our niece a trampoline it's a trampoline you know that you use in a house uh, because that's what she had on her wish list but we never realized how big it's gonna be and because Max is driving us uh, to Christmas in his little fiesta there was no way this would fit in a car so Paul's dad is gonna be at the wedding as well and he's coming to Christmas so we're taking that with us so he can put it in his car and bring it at Christmas if it fits, if it fits in his car yeah it's been such a nightmare we had a lovely wrapped up but then Paul thought well maybe the box is just big so he took the 
paper off, took the trampoline out of the box, still wouldn't go in Max's car, so we just didn't bother wrapping it again. So yeah, it was a bit of a... And we also have um, a lot of stinking cheese to take to Paul's sisters. Max doesn't know it yet, but um, Paul bought on internet. Is it like the most... Two of the world's uh, smelliest cheeses. Yeah, two of the world's smelliest, smelliest cheeses. Um, and they, are, they have been banned from... The Paris Metro. <laughs> It's metro because it stinks so much. We and have my whole garage smells. Yeah, now. we have a um, spare fridge in a garage, and we didn't even open the box that the cheese came in. So it's obviously wrapped up and in a box, and um, we put it in that fridge. And when you walk into the garage, the whole garage stinks of cheese. So it is disgusting, but I'm sure it's gonna taste lovely. Okay, I talk to you a bit later. Right, we are here, in the middle of nowhere, there is the old manor. So we do park somewhere here. Oh, lovely gardens to take yeah. wedding pictures. Unfortunately, the weather is awful. But what do you expect in December? Yeah, some people have it out here when it's nice weather. Wedding in progress. That will be our wedding. Well, not our. I can see fireplace there. Look through the window. So this is our room, there is a ensuite here, very cute. Well, I have a dressing table with mirror, that's good. I think we're the first ones here. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing. I don't know if you can see, it's a tiny mirror. Um, that's my dress that you've seen before. This fascinator was so inexpensive. And I have my hair in. And I also have a little bolero cardigan thing and my shoes these are so old very very high and platforms but they are so comfortable I can dance in them all night where were they from I can't even remember nine west yes so 
this is my outfit number one and if I get changed I show you the other one too See you later. Oh, they come in. Okay, so the wedding ceremony is over and we've had the wedding dinner. So um, I've come back to get changed. I've put my big earrings. I've got my dressing gown on for now. Um, I feel very, very tipsy and I have a headache. Too much bubbly at the wedding. So I've just come back to my room to have some headache tablets, some water. I will get changed and then I will go back downstairs for the um evening reception where we're gonna do a lot of dancing so the light in here is not very good but this is what i have changed into these do you remember these trousers from zara that i bought i had to have them shortened and this top i don't know if you can see it Properly. it's a one shoulder top with feather trim you can take the feathers off if you wanted to it is from this new and upcoming label called Kitri I will leave you the link to this top but I really really love it so I know you can probably see it properly here let's go and see if we can See a bit better in the bathroom. No, this is not very good either. Anyway, it's very nice. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to go and go dancing now. See you later. Good morning. <laughs> So it's Christmas Eve today, we've just got back from the wedding and I feel how I look. <laughs> uh, it was a really good wedding, we had a lovely time, but I think I've drunk too much Prosecco and I have indigestion from hell. Anyway, I'm going to chill out today and tomorrow we are going to Paul's Sisters for Christmas dinner. So. All I want to do now is to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Have a great time. Don't eat too much. Don't drink too much. Um, I probably will see you in between Christmas and New Year. But yeah, have a wonderful, peaceful Christmas. Bye.